And now to a career to remember, Mike Jacobs. Today we take a look back at the coverage surrounding Lorencia Bembenek. She escaped from prison after being convicted of murdering her husband's ex-wife. Her story quickly gained national exposure. Life has not been easy for Lorencia Bembenek. Convicted of first degree murder, she was sentenced to life in prison at Techida. While there, she met Nick Gugliato, the brother of another prisoner. Together, they hatched an escape plan. I was down in the laundry doing my laundry, and I noticed it was like my window of opportunity. There was, <laughs> there was a window that Maintenance must have been working on it because you can only open your windows like this much in prison. And they forgot to put the stays back in and the window was just open. And I climbed out the window and I ran through the woods and got over the fence. He picked me up and we just kept driving until he couldn't drive anymore. He was too tired and we wound up in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Bambenic and Gugliato lived quietly in this house in Thunder Bay. She worked as a waitress at this Greek restaurant. Was it exhilarating to finally be free? No, because that sense of freedom is juxtaposed against this hypervigilance of always looking over your shoulder. You were always worried you were going to get caught. Mm -hmm. One night, someone saw her on America's Most Wanted. And after three months on the run, Bambi was back in custody. Her relationship with Gugliato quickly came to an end. Bambenic denies she used him. I did love him. I did. I thought I did. Bambenic applied for refugee status in Canada, but then she returned to Milwaukee and pled no contest to second degree murder charges. She was sentenced to time served and then released. A new Laurencia Bembenek held a news conference the very next day. And it has a very unreal quality to it. I can't quite believe it's true yet. So if she's innocent, why did she plead no contest? I had to get out. I wanted to get out while my parents were still alive, you know. And that was the only thing, that was my only option. Being reunited with her father may have been the happiest day of her life. But Bambenek's life quickly took a turn for the worse. She lost her leg in a freak accident after being flown to Los Angeles to appear on the Dr. Phil show. The show's producers tried to keep her isolated in an apartment, but Bambenek climbed out a second floor window. I had a panic attack. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. And that's what I did. And I fell and broke my foot off. Did you end up suing the Dr. Phil show? And, and if so, what was the outcome of that lawsuit? A uh, settlement, a new, guaranteed annuity. Right. Yeah. So is that, is that the... I mean, what it, pretty how, much what I live on now. Yeah. What do you live on now? The annuity. From the Dr. Phil lawsuit. Mm -hmm. She bought her house using that money and the proceeds from her book and movie deals. It's a meager existence. If Bambenek has any joy in her life, it's animals. Look at that baby. Oh my goodness. She often visits a friend's ranch where she's surrounded by miniature donkeys and horses. But then reality sets back in. You've got your freedom. Why do you keep fighting? My dad's dying wish was to have the family name cleared. I miss him so much. I really do. And that's why you're fighting? Pretty much. Yes, she pled no contest, but she'll maintain her innocence to her dying day. It's just not right. It's not right what they did. It's not right. Laurencia Bembenek has shed a lot of tears. She may be the only person who knows if she's guilty or innocent. But one thing is certain, Laurencia Bambenek has led a miserable life. On a one to 10 scale, where do you rate your life? Two. It's been that bad. Yeah. Tonight at 10, we'll take a look back at the story behind this story. Mike Jacobs sits down to reveal things he's never shared about his time covering Laurencia Bambenek. That's tonight on Live at 10.